an 89-year-old midget trapeze artist. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth! I guess we're always just going to go with that clip now. You know what angry cuck Will Smith means? It's time for the Start of Views, Access Entertainment, Hollywood News, Insider Report, Extra Edition, tonight! Celebrity. Lorenzo Thomas. Entertainment. Rio Perlman. Hollywood. Who is Ralph Macchio banging? Extra. We may need to update some of those celebrity names. Rhea Perlman, Lorenzo Lamas, not exactly A-list celebrities. All right. Neil Patrick Harris, though, is, what, like a B-plus, B-minus celebrity? I don't know. Anyways, he's in the news. He was a bad boy. Neil Patrick Harris has apologized after a photo resurfaced from his 2011 Halloween party showing a meat platter designed to look like Amy Winehouse's corpse. <laughs> okay. Well, it was for Halloween, right? Things are supposed to be a little macabre. Uh, a photo recently resurfaced from a Halloween theme party. My husband, yeah, throw your husband under the bus there. David uh, Bertka <laughs> and I hosted 11 years ago, Harris said in a statement. It was regrettable then. And it remains regrettable now. You should have just said it was a different time. Back in 2011, blackface was okay. Depicting corpses in meat platter form was acceptable. 2011 was great. Uh, he added, Amy Winehouse was a once-in-a-generation talent, and I'm sorry for any hurt this image caused. In a since-deleted tweet, party attendee Justin Makita posted a photo of the graphic edible display. You know what? Let me get this up here because I, you know, I want to see this. How bad? Oh my god! It is very, it's gross! Who would want to eat off of this? Like, I get it's a meat platter and it's Halloween but still the corpse of Amy Winehouse. There's even like a cigarette coming out of her meat mouth. Isn't that a euphemism for pussy? Yeah, I'm going to fuck your meat mouth. All right, anyway, so uh, the graphic edible display depicted a bloody version of the late singer lying on an autopsy table with a cigarette in her mouth alongside a small card titling the piece The Corpse of Amy Winehouse. It's, you know, it's impossible to scrub the internet completely, so these things will resurface time and time again. I mean, does Neil have to, uh, is that his name? Yeah, Neil Patrick. Neil pa does Neil Patrick, what do you call him? People always just call him Neil Patrick Harris. I've never once heard him referred to just by like his first name. Like, hey, Neil. It's always like, it's always Neil Patrick Harris. Do you call him Neil or Neil Patrick? I don't know. Whatever. What was I saying? <laughs> I, I totally got uh, sidetracked by his, his name. Whatever. Uh, this isn't Harris's first controversy that led to an apology. The actor said sorry to Rachel Bloom in 2018 after tweeting about not knowing who she was at the Tony Awards. Oh, fuck it. Come on. Just, how is everyone expected to know? Every I don't even know who Rachel Bloom. I can't tell you one fucking thing Rachel Bloom has been in. Should I say sorry to her as well? We all have to know and bow down to the great Rachel Bloom. Fuck her. All right. Uh, yes, this isn't Harris's first controversy. He had to apologize to Rachel Bloom after tweeting about not knowing who she was at uh, the Tony Awards. So there you go. But Neil Patrick Harris just cannot catch a break. He's in lots of trouble.